Users of the SMS Advanced software can generate and analyze field trials after purchasing the field trial module. This module provides users with an easy way to build agronomically sound trials for all types of inputs, then analyze the yield and financial impact of these trials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create and edit a field trial, insert the field trial into a prescription layer, and export to a field display using the SMS Advanced software. To begin, map the reference layers you would like to use while building the trial, then select New Field Trial Layer from the File menu or Layer Tool in the Mapping Toolbar. Confirm the correct rower, farm, and field are selected to load reference information from layers such as soil survey and boundaries. Click OK. The Field Trial Wizard will now open. Previously created trials will be displayed to edit or click Add New to build a new trial. In the Add and Edit Field Trial dialog that opens, enter a unique trial name as well as a description. We suggest a trial name be brief so that the full name can be displayed in SMS reports and the management tree. And to enter more detailed information, you want to use the description text box. Use a Type and Units drop-down menu to select the trial type you will create. The type you select will impact the units available to choose from. Target rate count will be used when applying in seeds. Mass will be used for trials controlled by weight. Liquid will be for trials controlled by volume. And General allows you to create trials that will monitor variables not directly controlled by the field display, such as planting date or speed or tillage types. Next, you will select the number of treatments contained in this trial. At least two treatments are required, but you can enter as many as 20. As you increase and decrease the number of treatments, the corresponding text entries will adjust accordingly. Enter a description for each treatment in the field. These will correspond to the different rates or variables being tested. A best practice is to include at least one typical rate in the list of treatments, which is to be used as a control, so you can see how a treatment that has historically performed well compares to the other treatments being tested. Use the Harvest drop-down menu to select what type of harvest information will be collected for this trial. Leave the active checkbox selected so this trial is available to use in the future. And if you mark this as a favorite, it will appear at the top of the Saved Field Trials dialog for easier sorting. Click OK once all field trial settings have been defined. With the field trials selected that you would like to use, click Next. The Field Trial Setup dialog is where you will define the trial type, trial dimensions, replication layout, and how the trial will be aligned in the field. Once you have entered these settings for the first trial, the software will use these as default settings for future trials to save setup time. The names you entered in the descriptions in the settings dialog will be displayed in the treatment areas. First, you will need to define what type of trial you wish to create, either a design trial or a manual trial. A design trial is typically a very structured way of building an in-field trial where you define the rates, replication, and place the trial in the field where it will have the least amount of bias. These trials have the ability to be inserted into a prescription for automatic in-field control by the field display. Manual trials are a way to allow you to place a trial in a field when less than ideal circumstances are present or there is no way for a display to control the treatment, such as downforce or speed trials. This allows the data analysis more freedom to place the treatments individually in the field to match what generally has already been applied in the field, such as building a trial to track yield response after the field has already been planted. Next, you will want to enter the trial dimensions to use. The width you define will be the swath width of the treatment being applied. So if the treatment is a planting rate, you would set the width to that of the planter when the passes are straight. 
When working with trials placed at an angle or around contours, you may wish to widen this entry beyond the actual swath width. So the GPS variances and display settings do not impact the placement of the trial. The link you enter will determine what distance the treatment will be tested. You will want to make sure you enter a large enough distance so the results you receive during harvest are meaningful. The harvest buffer you will enter will affect the analysis done on the field trial by allowing you to tell the software how much data to exclude from the analysis by ignoring data points collected from the start and end of the trial to the distance you enter as the buffer. This buffer can lead to greater confidence in your results as it removes the causation impact of potentially delayed rate changes and machine fluctuations that can happen during application or harvest. You can choose to place your replications in the same pass with the end-to-end -end replication layout or choose to have them placed next to each other in different passes with the side-by-side -side layout. There are two optional settings, number of replications and blocks. Best practice suggests for each trial to garner the truest results, each trial should be replicated or repeated in the field at minimum three times, and preferably four times in the field. If you wish for the software to calculate the least significant difference value for you, which helps you determine the least amount of change you need to see in order to attribute that change to the treatment, you will need to have at least three replications. Blocks can be used to duplicate your field trial in multiple areas of the same field. For example, placing one block in high elevation and one in low elevation. One way to remove any bias from the trial results is to use the randomize option, which will rearrange your treatments so they are not always placed next to the same treatments, increasing your confidence in that the variable of the treatment you are testing is most likely responsible for the yield response. To remove randomization, simply click the reset button. To manually reorder the treatments, click on the name and use the drop down menu to adjust the location. As you make adjustments to the settings of a design trial, the trial layout preview window will update. Based on your field trial layout, in field trial settings, the arrow at the bottom will indicate the suggested direction of travel. After defining all settings, click Next. The software can assist you with placing your trials in the best location based on multiple criteria, including the default filters based on your field boundary and soil survey information, if available. A default buffer of 100 feet is entered so that no trial takes place on the edge of a field. If you have soil survey information available, the default filter is to only place trials in the soil textures of loam, silt loam, clay loam, and fine sandy loam. You can add, edit, or remove any filters to meet your specific needs. Click Finish and the Field Trial Editor will now display the trials that you set up, the buffer region, and the field boundary. Now that the basic trial has been created, you can further customize and edit the settings, placement, and naming used in the trial. To modify the background layers, use the Select Map, then Manage Reference Layers tool. Here, you can change what is contained in the background layers, such as different attributes, contour lines, and imagery. To adjust those trial settings or trial placement, click on the tools on the right-hand side of the screen. To shift the entire trial to a different location, click on Shift Trial, then click and drag over the selected trial. Rotate Trial allows you to adjust the alignment of the trial in the field. If you have multiple blocks in this trial, they will be named in numerical order, but you can customize these names by selecting the block and entering a unique description. If the field you are working in has guidance operations saved to the management tree and you would like to align your trials to one of the existing lines, select the trial and then click Set Change button. In the following dialog, select the year and guidance pattern you would like to use, then click OK. That guidance line will now be displayed over the first pass in the first trial you set up. 
As you shift the trial, the line will serve to snap you to the line to maintain heading. To remove the guidance line alignment, click Clear. And you can now shift and rotate the trial without snapping it to the previously selected line. At the bottom of the editor, you will see a grid displaying a percent of your treatments in each of the soil types in your field, and it's grouped by available blocks. To change the reference legend being displayed, use a drop down menu in the lower right. Click Save and verify the management settings are correct, and the new field trial will be available in your management tree. Now that the field trial has been created, you can insert this into an existing prescription layer of the same type by editing that layer and clicking the Insert Field Trial button. You will now choose which field trial to insert using the Year and Field Trial drop down menus, then clicking OK. The prescription editor will now update and the field trials will be merged into the prescription. This new prescription layer can now be exported to your field display using the device setup utility or as generic files such as Shape or KML. For more information on exporting, please review the exporting tutorial available on our YouTube channel. You have now learned how to create and edit a field trial, insert your trial into a prescription layer, and export to a field display. For more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.